The plane carrying former Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadzic touched down in Rotterdam Wednesday. Then officials promptly pulled it into a hangar and closed the door. Karadzic was then transferred to this UN jail where he waits for his trial to begin. He's expected to be summoned before a judge in the coming days and enter a plea on each of 11 counts, including genocide, extermination and persecution, all related to alleged crimes committed against non-Serbs during the Balkan Wars of the 1990s. While Karadzic may be safe in The Hague, back in his home of Belgrade, before he left, thousands of Serb extremists took the streets, demanding a halt to his extradition. Several hundred split off from the group, hurling stones and burning flares at riot police. They responded with tear gas and rubber bullets, aimed at breaking up the demonstration. Until his arrest, Karadzic had been living in disguise in a suburb of Belgrade. His trademark salt and pepper quaffed appearance replaced with a flowing beard. Officials say he has asked for and received a shave and a haircut. His lawyer says now he looks like an older version of the Bosnian Serb leader of the mid-1990s. His trial isn't expected to start for a few months and may take years before it's finished. Judy Boisha, The Associated Press.